Hi there, uh, my name is George Hooper. I'm standing outside the front of my family business, GCH Fishmongers. You're now going to see uh, some few short videos of why I believe I should be voting for Young Fishmonger here. Uh, if you'd like to come on in. I'm George Hooper, I uh, work for GCH Fishmongers in Bedfordshire. I'm 23 years of age. Uh, I've been in the industry, as you can see, uh, for the picture over there, since about the age of five years old. Uh, I used to go to the Billings Lake Market with my father um, and get hands on down there. Um, I really got passion for the industry about the age of 13 um, when I went to the British Fishcraft Championships in Cardiff. Um, the following year I entered uh, the youngest ever competitor at the age of 14 um, and by the age of 18 I was British champion. Since then I've entered every year and, and placed second and hopefully this year I'll be uh, going back to Cardiff to win it. Um, we, we recently opened the shop in 2015. Um, we started from, from no customers uh, up to 50 wholesale customers now and a striving business in the, in the retail shop. Um, outside of the, the business, I've luckily been able to go to Canada twice, uh, once to the World Seafood Congress uh, and also to speak to the Canadian government about youngsters in the industry and how we can and get more people into the industry. I also recently um, went to Spain to sit on an expert panel to talk about training. Uh, you can see here are some of the awards I've won in the, the British Fishcraft Championship. There's also some awards here um, I've been given for, for training and I they take an active part in training a lot of youngsters at the Billings Lake Seafood Training School. I think it's really important to involve younger people into the industry and um, to, to get the, the, the average age of the industry is about 50 years of age and we need to be pushing more young people through and awards like this are such a great incentive for youngsters to, to just come on board and, and strive in the industry. Now I'm going to do some filleting demonstrations, uh, both on a flatfish and a round fish. You can see here I've got a, a flatfish, it's an 11 sole Latin name Microstomus kit. A fantastic quality fish, just arrived from Cornwall overnight and we're going to take two nice large fillets off the fish. So I'm cutting round the head down the side of the fish and there's no right or wrong way to fill it it's just the way you've been taught as long as the end results there so I've come over the rib bones round the head to maximum yield as you see this fish is in row so we'll take that out there trim any bones left on the fish and now I'm just going to trim this part out to fill it to make a nice so you've got one lovely lemon sole fillet turning the fish around exactly the same we're cutting right around the head for the yield and down the side of the fish as close to the bone as possible Then I'm going over the rib bones. And all the way down the fillet. Nice long strokes of the knife. Round the head. And then removing the row. And trim out. Flat. And you've got two fantastic fillets of lemon salt. We've got a fantastic round fish. This is a sardine, Latin name sardine and pilk chardas. Um, these fish have, we've imported directly from Spain. This is a fantastic fish, green rated on the MCS website, so you eat plenty of these. Very healthy for you, full of omega 3 oils. To start, we just trim the fins off the top. Then what we're going to do, we're going to produce a butterfly fillet. So I'm cutting on the head, round, round the belly, maximum yield. Opening the first fillet up, but it stayed attached at the back, and in the head. So there's no, no waste on there. I'm just going to trim the fillet up, make it look nice and neat. You've got a fantastic butterfly fillet of sardine. The fish we range in the shop daily, and um, we're purchasing from ports all over the UK. 
We also have um, suppliers in Greece and Turkey who send us our sea bass and sea bream. Uh, we have companies who import tuna and swordfish for us from the Seychelles, countries like that. So you can see here some fantastic Dover soles come in this morning. Uh, they're from Cornwall. Uh, what else we got? We've got some lovely red mullet. Fantastic bright eyes on that. We've got some striped bass. These are a new fish. They're farmed in Denmark. Lovely quality. Some fantastic mackerel. Some lovely wild halibut loin there. Uh, we spoke about the sardines earlier. Maybe you've got more pass, more bream, and the fantastic monkfish on their fantastic quality this time of year. We've got some lovely plates also. Uh, we also arrange um, Cornish mussels, uh, fairy mussels, fantastic, great yielding meat on those. Uh, we also offer live clams, live mussels, live oysters, fantastic giant king prawns, uh, and we also do a range of cooked fish as well. Um, Whitby crabs, all fresh, freshly cooked. And you can see we do some fantastic offers here. They offer fantastic smoked fish as well.